Hey guys, Busy Mommy here, and it is holiday season, and though many of you might know, I am half Puerto Rican, half Mexican, so I do a lot of things where I mix both cultures together, but one of the things that just makes me feel so happy in the holidays is what we kind of call Puerto Rican eggnog. So it's actually called Coquito. It is delicious and you should definitely try it. Only if you're a coconut fan though. So this is called Coquito. It's like little coconut kind of. And so if you don't like coconut, I mean, it's like a lot of coconut we're putting in this thing. So want to make sure that you like it. If you do, feel free to try this. It's very delicious, very easy to make. So um, I'm gonna use my really cool ninja. So my dad for my birthday got me this ninja to make really good life decisions, right? To make my shakes, to keep doing my keto stuff. And then I decided, well, uh, it's the holidays. So why not make bad decisions and put a lot of rum and stuff? So anyway, we're gonna have some fun. So what we're gonna do is just mix this all up and we're gonna throw in um, Basically, I'm gonna make two bottles of this. So you can make a half bottle if you want. You just cut everything in half. So essentially, it's one can of cream of coconut for one, right? And so it looks kind of weird looking. One can of evaporated milk. And the best part, which, I mean, sweetened condensed milk, if you've never just like tried it, it's the best. So good, so rich and creamy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Um, I love it. So I'm doubling this recipe, so I'm gonna put double of everything, but if you wanna make just one bottle, I don't know why you would make just one bottle because you're gonna wanna drink both. But I have a huge family and a lot of my siblings are finally 21, so they'll be able to drink this too. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw in two of everything because yum. So two cans sweetened condensed milk, two cans of evaporated milk, two cans of cream of coconut, which you can find, I mean, I found this in like the Hispanic aisle at the grocery store. You could probably find it there. You could probably find it you know, in like a regular like baking aisle maybe. Um, not quite sure, I just found it and it worked out perfect. So I have everything in there. There's a little bit more coconut in here and I just love coconut. So I'm gonna make sure that it's all in there. And then we're gonna blend. So we're gonna blend this part first. Once we blend this all up, we'll start adding a few other things like the piece de resistance, the rum. So I'm going to blend. Oh my God, I can't wait. I literally cannot wait to drink this. All right. So being that we're at about my level of liquid to this, I'm not going to blend the alcohol with it because I don't think I really need to. I mean, I can mix it myself. But a few things that you wanna to add to this to give it just another little hint of flavor is I'm gonna throw some nutmeg. So you don't have to have like fresh nutmeg and grind it up. So that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some fresh nutmeg in there. I would say probably half a tablespoon per bottle. Um, so maybe like one tablespoon for the whole thing. I mean, it's really how much you like nutmeg. You don't have to add this. I would suggest adding it. I would add this and I would add cinnamon. So I have fresh cinnamon I ground um, from fresh cinnamon sticks myself with my um, spice grinder. And so I add, I'd say that's probably about half a tablespoon um, for two. So about a quarter tablespoon for one. All right, so then you're gonna blend again. I would suggest trying it. Now you can actually keep it this way and serve it like for, to kids this way, um, you know, without alcohol, obviously. But we want an adult one. Oh my, I can't. That is just so good. Ugh. Anyway, um, another thing you can do is you can add some vanilla. So I think it could use some, so I might throw a little bit of vanilla in here. I happen to have vanilla I bought when I was in Mexico. Um, I don't know what it is about Mexican vanilla. It's like a little 
sweeter maybe. I don't really know how to explain it, but it just, it smells so good and it tastes so good. So here's where uh, we have some Mexican happening. So I'm gonna put this vanilla here. Oh gosh. <laughs> I can never get this thing right. All right, so there it is. I'm gonna start it again. Okay, so I'm gonna take half of this out since I need to add, actually I could just add the liquid to it. So I'm gonna add now the rum. Obviously, if you're gonna make coquito, you gotta use Puerto Rican rum. I mean, Bacardi is like delicious. So you can actually do however much rum you want. Um, between four to six ounces per bottle. Hey, it's Christmas, have fun, do whatever you wanna do. I'm gonna do 12 ounces for two bottles, so six ounces per. We're just gonna go all out. All right. So now that that's in there, what we're gonna do is transport this to another container and you're gonna let it sit about four to six hours. The longer you let it sit, the more flavor you'll get, the more condensed, you know, the flavors kind of blend in together, which is really awesome. I would suggest, you know, adding a few cinnamon sticks in here if you can. You can actually repurpose bottles like wine bottles or like this that has a screw top would be great to just reuse. I mean, I guess I could just make sure we drink this. Um, and throw it in and then put it in your fridge and then drink it as you wish. It's amazing, it's delicious, and it's really fun to do in the holidays. So from my family to yours, enjoy your coquito. I guess I could, I mean, I guess I could try it already. I'm one of those people that doesn't like to really like wait. So maybe I should just, oh my God, I'm so excited. All right, so I guess I'll try it, so cheers. Oh my God, so good. It's even gonna get even better. All right, so enjoy with your family. Um, I do have one ask for you, is if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe. I will have a lot of recipes from Puerto Rican, Mexican recipes to American, Cajun, everything. I like to cook everything. Um, next month is gonna be a keto-focused month because it's January and I'm, I've lost 49 pounds already, but I need to get back in that kick for the keto, so starting January 1st is gonna be my uh, full strict keto, so I'll be throwing a lot of keto recipes up to you guys. So I hope to see you then. Thanks, bye.